Hello, I am Krishnamurthy Pammi. In this video, we are going to learn sensitivity analysis using tornado diagram. Sensitivity analysis keeps all other project risks at their base level and it focuses on the identified risk and it then examines to what extent it can affect the project objectives. This way, we can understand the sensitivities. That means the amount to which the risk can elongate to either towards positive side or negative side on our project objectives. This way, we can understand what are the important risks that we should pay attention to and start taking proper action. Let us understand sensitivity analysis using tornado diagram in this video. Let us understand sensitivity analysis using an example. Our example statement says, we wanted to release new product in the market. Our target is to make 6 million US dollars by the end of first year. We already know that marketing related risks can influence our project targets to a greater extent in our example. We are interested to know which individual risk in the marketing category can influence our project objectives to a greater extent. So sensitivity analysis helps to achieve our objective. Sensitivity analysis uses a tornado diagram. This is a tornado diagram where all marketing related risks are listed down here and each risk, okay, when we focus upon, we will keep all other risks at their base level and we will see how maximum and how minimum the risk can impact our project objectives. For example, here, the promotion related risks, okay keeping price related risks, product related risks, place related risks at their base level. We wanted to check how maximum and how minimum the promotion related risks can be sensitive towards our target of making 6 million US dollars. So promotion related risks can provide us a profit margin of 10 million US dollars at the end of first year if we handle them well. If we don't handle them well, it provides a profit margin of $2 million with current promotion campaign we have at hand. Next, price related risks. When we focus on price related risks, we keep all other risks at their base level. We just focus our attention on price related risks and their correlation towards our target project profit of making $6 million US dollars. So, the study that is depicted in this tornado diagram says that if price related risks are handled well, it can provide a profit margin up to 9 million US dollars. If we don't handle price related risks well, it provides uh, a profit margin of 3 million. So this is where it can elongate or sensitive towards positive side and it can elongate or sensitive towards negative side from our target of making 6 million US dollars. Similarly, product related risks. If we handle these product related risks well, we can achieve a target profit of 8 million US dollars. Whereas, if we don't handle it effectively, we end up making 4 million US dollars. So, while studying the product related risks, we are keeping all other risks at their base level. We are just focusing on product related risks. So this tornado diagram having horizontal bars which are the risks under our study and these horizontal bars are represented in a decreasing pattern like a funnel here. Okay. So the topmost sensitive risk is shown at the top and then in their decreasing order of their sensitivity uh, these risks are listed as horizontal bars in this tornado diagram. So from this particular diagram we know that out of the marketing related risks, promotion risks and price related risks are impacting our project objectives. Now we have a question, what risk within promotion risks are impacting our project targets to a greater extent? Well, we can construct another sensitivity analysis to achieve this. Within the promotion risks, we first list down all other risks within the promotion category risks 
advertising related, sales promotion related, publicity related. Like this, we can list down all the risks. While studying the advertising related risks, we keep all other risks at their base level and we wanted to see how much sensitive advertising related risks can go up to. That means how much positive side it can elongate to and how much negative it can elongate to from the base value. So like this, advertising related risk is giving us the profit margin of 10 million US dollars if we handle them well. If we don't handle them well, it is giving a profit margin of 2 million US dollars. So advertising related risks, if we handle them well, it is giving us a profit margin of 10 million US dollars. If we don't handle them well, it is giving a profit margin of 2 million US dollars. So with the existing campaign, the advertising related risk can earn us a profit of 2 million. Likewise, we can study in the decreasing order of the risk sensitivity, we can study the impact of the listed risks on our target. So the sensitivity analysis examines each project risks on its own merit. It is an analysis process to determine which risk could affect the project the most. All other risks in the project are set at baseline value. The individual risk is then examined to see how it may affect the success of the project. The goal of sensitivity analysis is to determine which individual risk have the greatest impact on the project success and then escalate the risk management processes on these risks so that we can focus our efforts and money on these risks so that we can handle them well and achieve greater success towards project objectives. Sensitivity analysis is often associated with a tornado diagram. I thank your interest to learn and I look forward to add more value add sessions in future. Thank you.